Welcome back, myth lovers. Today, we embark on a thrilling journey to uncover the enchanting secrets of Brazilian mythology and folklore. Get ready to dive into a world filled with mystical creatures that have shaped Brazil's rich cultural heritage. The Sessipira is a one-legged trickster spirit who is said to live in the forests of Brazil. He is often depicted as a small boy with red hair and a smoking pipe, and he is always wearing a red cap. The Sessipira is known for his mischievous nature and his love of playing tricks on people. The exact origins of the Sessipira are unknown, but he is believed to be a combination of native Brazilian and African folklore. The first written records of the Sessipira date back to the 18th century, and he became one of the most beloved and enduring characters in Brazilian culture. The Sessipira is said to have many magical powers. He can shapeshift, fly, and cast spells. He is also said to be able to control the weather and summon animals. There are a few things you can do to protect yourself from the Sessipira. One is to carry a cross or a rosary as he is also said to be afraid of religious symbols and you can also try to be respectful of the forest and the creatures that live there as the Sessipur is said to be a protector of the natural world. The Sessipur is a fascinating and complex theory in Brazilian mythology and folklore. He is both mischievous and benevolent and he represents a power of nature and the importance of resetting the natural world. The Kulpara is a mischievous forest spirit who is said to be the protector of animals and trees. He is often depicted as a short, hairy creature with red hair and feet that are turned backwards. This allows him to confuse his pursuers by leaving footprints that lead in the opposite direction of his actual travel. The Kulpara is said to have a number of supernatural powers. He can control the animals of the forest and he can also create illusions and shapeshift. He is also said to be incredibly strong and agile. There are many different legends about the Kulpara. Some say that he is the offspring of a human and a forest spirit. Others say that he was created by the gods to protect the forest. One of the most popular Kulpara legends tells the story of a hunter who was lost in the forest. He came across Kulpara who warned him not to hunt any more animals. The hunter ignored the warning, and the Kulpara punished him by leading him astray in the forest. The hunter was never seen again. The Kulpara is still a popular figure in Brazilian culture today. He is often used in children's stories and fairy tales, and he is also the subject of many songs and poems. In the depths of Brazil's folklore lies the legend of Ira a mesmerizing creature known as the Lady of the Waters. Ira is a central figure surrounded by captivating tales that have been passed down through generations. According to Brazilian mythology, Ira is believed to be a beautiful and seductive mermaid who resides in the rivers, especially the Amazon River. Her name, derived from the indigenous Tupac-Guay language, means lady or water lady. But do not let Ira's enchanting beauty fool you. She is said to possess mystical powers, which she uses to lure unsuspecting men into her underwater kingdom. Legend has it that once lured by Ira, men become obsessed and are never seen again. The myths and tales surrounding Ira often depict her as having a captivating voice, capable of hypnotizing anyone who hears it. Some believe that Ira's song can be heard floating through the stillness of the night, calling out to those who dare approach the riverbanks. The Botocó de Rosa, or the Pink Dolphin, is a mythical creature found in Amazonian folklore. This unique and enchanting creature dwells in the meandering rivers of Brazil, captivating the imaginations of locals for centuries with its extraordinary appearance and intriguing behaviors. Legend has it that during the night, when all is calm, the Boruco de Rosa magically transforms into a charming young man, enticing everyone with his irresistible charisma. According to the folklore, the Boruco de Rosa emerges from the depths of a river, attending local festivals and parties, disguised as a charismatic stranger. With his mesmerizing dance moves and irresistible charm, 
he captivates the attention of all who lay ice upon him. The Boto Cordy Rosa is said to be the ultimate seducer. Some people believe that if you meet the Boto Cordy Rosa and become his lover, he can grant you eternal youth and prosperity. Butita, also known as Boy Tota or Mobai Tota, is one of the most fascinating creatures from Brazilian mythology. It is a serpent-like being, often depicted as a giant snake or dragon glowing with fiery eyes that light up the night sky. According to legend, Bortita was believed to be the guardian spirit of the Amazon rainforest, fiercely protecting its vast biodiversity. The creature was said to emit flames from its eyes and mouth, acting as a protector against those who threaten the delicate balance of nature. Now, you might be wondering if Bortita is just a fictional creature from Brazilian folklore or if there is any truth behind its existence. While the mythological aspect prevails, some theories suggest that the legend of Bortita might have originated from signs of bioluminous air creatures, such as fireflies or mysterious atmospheric phenomena. And that's a wrap on our journey through Brazilian mythology and folklore. We hope you've enjoyed delving into the rich tapestry of stories and legends that make up this fascinating cultural heritage. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of the world!